Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see, I have my extensions in. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I've been cooped up in the house for more than a week. I really just want to go out and feel a little bit more normal. So I think today what we're going to do is go through a drive through Things are starting to open up back in Canada. Um, so I think we're good to go ahead and go through a drive through And I've been really craving McDonald's. I haven't had a drive through McDonald's moment in a hot second. So I figured we could go out and get some McDonald's. So that's what we're doing today. But give me uno second. Uh, of course guys Cold bird 25 down below in the description box all the info you need for a little energy, you know what I'm saying? Mmm mm. This is my favorite. Okay, let's head out to McDonald's shall we? Hey guys, I'm in the car. I have my yellow shirt on the seats are red ready to eat McDonald's <laughs> Uh, by the way guys, if you see me touching my face, I've already sanitized these gloves, so don't be afraid. Um, and actually going into the car, Aria was the one that touched all the door handles and stuff, so I told him I didn't want to. I still sanitize my gloves afterwards when I go in the car, and then Aria sanitized his gloves, but I told him because I was doing a mukbang, I didn't want to touch any of the handles leaving the house. But anyways, oh my god, I should <laughs> Oh, do you hear that? I'm closing the top. I'm not getting, I know people say that poo is good luck, but as far as I'm concerned, it's just shit on your shoulder. So the hatch is closed. <laughs> Besides going to the grocery store, I promised myself at least once a week, I'm going to do something that's going to make me feel normal. And this is my, like that one thing of the week that I'm going to do that's going to make me feel normal and it's going through a drive through So I'm really excited right now. It's all about the little things, guys. It's all about the insignificant little things that we do every day that we, it's like there, it's available, and so we take advantage of it. And that's a, that's a part of the problem of life, right? I'm spitting all over the place. I better not have corona. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know, it's all these little, and it's like, this situation is like really messed up, but it's good at the same time because it's, it's helping us appreciate all the little things that we wouldn't usually appreciate. I Woo! Cheers. My friends, what should we get? Should we get the spicy habanero chicken? Uh, can I get the honey, please? Um, so it's two kids' meal, the habanero chicken sandwich. Yeah, that's everything. I'm also getting a Big Mac. <laughs> um, is it, can I get medium fries as well? <laughs> Sorry, thanks. Anything else? That's everything. And here I am literally disinfecting my water bottles. Oh, thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Okay. All right. All right, kitties. I have my... Woo! I'm just going to wipe everything down quickly and I will be right back. Everything is wiped down. Everything is clean. We got a drink here. We're enjoying life. Let's get it in. I haven't had a Big Mac in so long. I'm pretty excited for this. So here's our Big Mac. Oh, baby. I am so excited to take a fat bite out of this Big Mac. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm gonna be so bloated tomorrow and honestly I'm when I'm when I'm feeling a little bit down because I'm feeling bloated I'm just gonna remember this exact moment how I was feeling and not feel bad anymore <laughs> mm. oh my god there's nothing like sitting in your car and just chilling and eating even when I'm feeling just like really down going out for a drive you know what I'm saying? Just chilling and enjoying your time.
Oh, let's go in for this guy. Here we go. Ooh, she bright. Okay, so she looking. Got some habanero sauce in there. Some onions. Typical little chicken filet. Oh. Mm. Yum. Mm. Mm hmm. Amazing. Yeah, that's really good. I really like that. I'm not crazy for chicken sandwiches, but I really like this. For some reason, I've never been like a chicken sandwich type of person. But I love a club sandwich. A nice club with bacon and chicken. Mm-hmm. This is it right here. Mm. Oh, look. I got toys. Why they do me like that? What child? Actually, I guess. I guess sometimes it's better to give kids the same toy because there might be a fight that breaks out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's fine. Any hoodles. <gasps> they gave me a yogurt thing. Oh my god, I love that. I'm gonna eat the fries instead and save this for later. Putting this in my purse. I'm saving it for later. Okay. I love the fries. I am fiending for some fries, you know? But I'm not gonna lie. Um, you guys have heard this from me before, but um, I used to dream of just swimming in a pool of hamburger. Anyways, we have a cheeseburger here. Nothing crazy. It's nostalgic, right? <laughs> For many of us. In one bite, I'm living a million different memories. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. Mmm. Just eating McDonald's right now. Being okay with the bloatedness I'm gonna experience later on because it's gonna happen. Being okay with my face being a little bit puffy tomorrow. Being okay with that minor regret I'm gonna feel after this, after eating all this food, and ask myself, dang, Veronica, why'd you have to eat all that for? Couldn't just have one little piece? You have to eat the whole three burgers? And being okay with that. That is happiness, my friends. <laughs> Cause there was a point in my life where I would eat food and I would just regret after, like after eating the food, I would regret it afterwards. Like why did I eat all that? I'm gonna gain weight. Wait, 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 wait. Cared so much about wait, 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 wait. And I still do in a way, yeah. I still care about like my well-being. Of course you have to, right? You can't completely not care about yourself. You have to, oh, this is so cute. Oh my God, chicken nuggies. That is so cute. Where's the sauce? <laughs> <gasps> How dare they? How dare they not give me a sauce? That is blasphemy. Oh, no, they did. Okay, I take it back. Take it back, McDonald's. Not trying to hate on y'all. That is done. That is done. But there was a point in my life where I would always feel bad anytime I ate. I always feel bad afterwards because... I know in high school, in high school, for for some reason, everyone cares about being skinny, 
and we're toothpicks at that age like we're uh, many of us are very small at that age you know even me i wasn't the smallest girl i mean i did work at mcdonald's when i was 15 for almost a year and i ate an extra large or a large ice cap from tim hortons and a double remember the double big macs i think the state still has them and a double big mac every single day going to work and leaving work that's what it would have i was a chubby i was very chubby at one point right and i didn't really care at that time like i cared but i didn't you know but in high school everyone just cared so much about being skinny and we all thought we were bigger than what we were and when we look back at our photos we're like dang i was actual an, as an actual stick so with that being said we just you know you just gotta appreciate where you are in life like if you're gonna eat something eat it with no regret you actually gain more weight when you regret it afterwards because your body goes into like a stress mode your body keeps more fat on you right because when you're stressed out naturally we're right in the wild like if we were all savages still we kind of are but something was stressing us out and our body had to react in a way where it could conserve energy so that's part of the reason i remember i learned that when i was um really trying to work out and and one of the things that i learned was to never regret if i'm going to have a cheat meal not to regret it not to just to be happy with it you know so yeah it's but when you're fine you're just happy like it is what it is like what i'm enjoying myself in this moment i'm not gonna let this moment pass and then ruin it by regretting it later i did that so many times growing up you know so don't regret if you're gonna eat your food and if you're gonna enjoy this video you're gonna have some food with me don't regret it, you know? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> I love it with honey. I don't know why. I love it with honey. I love that sweetness aspect of it. You know what I mean? I really love that sweetness aspect of it. No regrets, kids. <laughs> no regrets. You know? It's good to have a healthy lifestyle. Like, even though I eat a lot of food, because a lot of people always ask me, like, oh, she's bulimic, or she throws up, or... First of all, that's not even funny. Like, to even say that is, like, not funny. It's, like, not nice, you know? If someone's going through something... The worst thing you can do is put them down, right? I eat my food, I enjoy my food, and that's it. No, um, no unhealthy habits here. I mean, kind of eating a lot of food is a little bit unhealthy, but I mean, for me, I think there's a balance in life, right? I enjoy myself splurging here and there and living my life and, and unapologetically and just, you know, that's like the philosophy that I've, I've I've adapted recently and just enjoying myself and I think a big part of you know people kind of putting others down for them maybe having some like eating disorders is not okay like it's just not okay a lot of people especially like high school kids you know I remember when I was in high school it was such a big thing I was at, at one point in high school I did have an eating disorder because for some reason I just wanted to be skinny so badly and it's just so unrealistic right it's just not okay but oh my god there's a hair I splurge, I eat when I eat, I don't regret it, and then when I'm not eating this, I'm living a healthy lifestyle. I'm finding pleasure in the process of being healthy. You have to take interest in things to enjoy it. Like, you can't try to lose weight and be fit and not enjoy Like, if you don't enjoy doing it, but you do it because you feel like you need to do it, right? So you can lose the weight. It's not gonna happen. You have to, you have to find pleasure in it. You have to, like, convince yourself to learn something new and enjoy the process of learning that new and it can be very difficult in the beginning but i you know it's like walking our first baby says when we were babies and we decided to walk did we did we question the fact that we were deciding to walk no we fell down and we kept trying because the world didn't get to us yet we, we kind of have to embody that childlike energy as young adults as late teenagers and embody that energy and when it comes to learning something new just do it and it's going to be you know sometimes we have like that, those thoughts those negative thoughts saying that we can't but just find pleasure in it just don't feel bad like enjoy your food and never feel bad
life is too short to feel bad about the things we love right it's like dating for the first time or dating in general you date someone and then you find out they don't have the same energy as you not even love like let's put love and like aside they just don't have the same energy the energy their, their energy as much as you like them their energy doesn't match you and that's all that matters and you can't be disappointed by stuff like that you have to just be like you know what We don't have the same energy. Our energy doesn't match each other. This isn't right for me. I need to move on, right? So just find things in life that match your energy. And if you want to change your own energy, like guys, take a look at me. Look at my energy from last year to this year. It's completely changed. I'm so thankful it has changed. It was a lot of work. You know, it was a lot of crying. It was a lot of freakouts. It was a lot of not feeling comfortable in my own skin but finally for once in my life i am a hundred percent okay with the person that i am for the first time ever i grew up with a mother you know god bless her soul she's very sick she's been sick since i was a kid she has so many undiagnosed mental health issues that it's just consumed her throughout the years and she's become what she is now and it's so sad to see and i'm trying to help her but you can only do so much for people right but um you know, because I grew up always not thinking that I was beautiful, not thinking I was good enough. Those are the words implemented in my life as a child. You know, that's a, that's a, that's our most sensitive time to be alive. And to have that implemented at such an early age, I'm not good enough. Imagine the struggles I've been through. Imagine the struggles you have been through. Imagine the struggles everyone has been through, right? I've never been 100% comfortable in my own skin. Even when I was doing really fun stuff, when I think about those times, and I think about Veronica as a teenager, she she was having a lot of fun and she had the teenager energy, but she wasn't ever 100% comfortable with herself. I was always trying to look very European and I was never trying to embrace my Chinese side. Anyways, this is too much. Anyways, just like enjoy yourself, you know? Feel your destiny, right? Live your freaking life unapologetically and be comfortable with the person that you are. And if you're not, it's going to take time. And you know what? The people who are super, super comfortable with themselves, I give them kudos. This is why Drake is one of my one of my favorite artists, okay? He's from Toronto. He really put Toronto on the map. And it really makes me upset when people say that Drake is like... And nowadays, people are saying, like, Drake is so de generic. Like, Drake is the person who who created the wave like you can't call him generic he's the one that created that wave you know what i mean and i appreciate drake so much because you can tell his ups and downs in his music if he was just always releasing bangers it, he, he wouldn't be human it wouldn't be relatable i wouldn't be able to listen to him after a while because it's like you're making hit after hit okay we get we you know what i mean like people get sick of things so easy they wouldn't even get sick of that so so to see drake coming from toronto even i remember in the 2010s growing up like, Toronto wasn't on the map like that. Like, we had Jim Carrey, we had Celine Dion, Justin Bieber was going up at the same time. But when I think about it, you know, anybody who is from not from the States or not from, like, a big part of the States and then they move to that part of the States, they become that part of the States, like California, for example. You know, Justin Bieber moved. He was from the greater Toronto area, you know. He wasn't too far off from, like, the downtown area. And um, he moved He moved to California, and he was, like, to me, as someone who grew up in Toronto, Justin Bieber never embodied Toronto. Like, to me, he's a Cali kid. Like, yes, he's from Toronto, but for, to me, now when I look at him, he's straight Cali. Like, I don't see too much Canadian in him. I see a little bit still. He likes the Leafs, he likes some horns, whatever. Like, but Drake, he... He opened up a consciousness within Toronto to help all the rappers and all the people who are trying to explore and be into pop culture. He created that consciousness for it to happen. And like, I just hate when people like, when they say he's fallen off or they say that like he's, like he's generic. It's like, no, he's he's gonna have his up and downs with music. Like right now he just had a kid. He's doing his thing. You know, he released some good music. His music that he just released is still really good. Is it that crazy music that's gonna make everybody go crazy? Maybe not. But that is a pinnacle point in his life where it's gonna go it's like this. And I think it's probably in that middle point. This this um album that he's released. I'm sorry, I know I'm talking so much about Drake, but my point is is that like those up and downs in life is like 
what makes him human and that's why he's like one of my favorite 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 rappers and i love that he reps toronto so hard i really love music i really love artists um you know i was djing at one point i wanted to be like a music manager when i was like 19. i was trying to manage a couple freaking rappers and like i couldn't even manage myself and i'm out here trying to be a manager for other people no little veronica that's not how it works <laughs> Like, I remember just before NAV was popping off, I created this poster because I really wanted to do a party. And I wanted to get NAV and and Case at this party. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw... Because I, I used to do, like, all-age parties when I was a kid. I was like, you know, I'm going to come... I'm going to make a comeback. I'm going to throw, like, really sick parties. And I'm going to have NAV. I'm going to have Case come. And I remember I followed NAV and I didn't end up doing the party. And literally six months later, NAV blew up. I was so sad. I was like... I had the chance to meet him and even could have said that I threw a party with him before he was even big and it didn't happen <laughs> but uh, yeah a lot of talent comes out of Toronto it's amazing but Drake really is the goat you know as much as people don't want to admit that he is the goat he is like Without Drake, yeah, could people say, oh, it could have been someone else that put Tron on the map. Yeah, it could have, but it wasn't. It was him. He did it. He was the one that took it to the level that he did. So, yeah, it could have been someone else, but could have, would have, should have, but didn't. It was him. So, yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I love Toronto. I love my city, and I love that I'm finally just 100% comfortable with who I am, and... I'm, 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 as you guys can see, I'm really celebrating that. Like, I'm talking so much. I think I'm talking, I'm talking more than I've ever talked on my platform because I feel like my most comfortable, honestly, just being myself. And yeah, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed this mukbang. I love you so much. Hope you enjoyed this little, you know, enjoying this little conversation that we had. I need to do more videos of on my second channel of like Toronto stuff that I love. Oh my god, I love it. This girl's like blaring music with her windows down, living her best life. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. You're amazing. I love you so much. I didn't finish my fries, but I think we'll live. I'm gonna snuck away on them as I go. Anyways, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you so much. Thank you for watching, and until next time, 